Okay, I am back with my part two of how to survive the first night. As you can see, it is nighttime and I'm not doing so well. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna start building a house. Might not be too big, cause all I need to survive the first night is a little small hut. So not going to make it too big. If you ever seen the Yogg's cast how for their first night surviving it they were really like in a claustrophobic space so they didn't really get to um, <laughs> do much on the first night really in their little home area they didn't have coal they had like nothing basically but that's not how I play I play the game where I go pretty easy whatever i can build my house out of basically is what i build it out of as you can see my roof's going to be out of dirt because wood planks will uh, really help in this game so i'm going to quickly get that get in make some torches as you can see And then light up my inside. Put down this crafting table. Get a door. And put that down. Go outside, put two lights there. And now I'm in my little home place for the uh, surviving the first night. Yippee. It's not big, of course, because nobody really has that big of a house when they first start the game unless they're like on peaceful if i was on peaceful right now i'd be really far but i'm really good at peaceful usually right now i'm going to start with a little mine shaft to go down mining for resources so that's what i usually do the first night if i have nothing really good to do because there's going to be like a lot of mobs outside if you don't know what mobs are, they're like the creepers, skeletons, zombies, spiders. They're everything that can kill you, basically. So I'm going to, yeah, start working on a mine. Basically, when you mine, you want to make little stairs like I am. Never go straight down because you never know when you're going to hit lava. So, basically, when you are doing this, like me right now, you got to be really smart on how to mine. Because if you mine the wrong way, like if I start, start mining straight down, I don't know what I could have hit. Like, I could have hit something horrible. So, I'm just going to not worry about that because I can probably jump across it, I think. Yeah, I can jump across That'll be like a death pit, I guess. Why not? So, when I'm mining down, any resource I find, I take. Unless it's like a bunch of like cobblestone. But if you've never seen a mob spawner before, oh, just hit a cave as you can see. This is how I mine down so I don't. So I know when I hit something, I don't just like go down there and die by mobs like creepers. So if you were a really smart person at this game, but yet you still aren't really quite that good at playing the game and you want to know more tips, just rate, comment, subscribe. I'm, I think. Me and Bird think that we're we're not amazing at this game, but we are pretty good. Like we're not as good as the Yogs cast if you ever watch them, Simon and Lewis. But yet we are pretty good. We're not too bad of Minecraft players. Bird's really an interior an exterior person. I'm mainly a miner. So if you like to mine and you wanna mine with me one day, just comment. I check my comments like every day. So, if you want to play with me, holy smokes. Oh, spider. Sorry, see, I get kind of scared when I see a mob. Like I just did. I get pretty scared. 
so I don't see it coming most of the time. Yeah, basically, if you have a lot of torches and you know that, and you're going down in a cave, I would make a lot of torches, because you never know what's going to hit you from behind and from, like, everywhere you can look. There's usually something there that can kill you. There could be a lava. I mean, yeah, that makes light, but I almost fell down that little hole if you saw that. So, yeah. Anytime you get in one of these these situations and you're about to die and you don't have a sword, just go up and make a sword, but I don't really care at this point. Yeah, I'm going to play a little bit more on this map, but I'm not going to, like, crazy amount play it. I'm probably only going to play it for the videos, so. Um, I don't remember how to get up right now, so I'm going to find my way up. I, you know, I think I just found it. Never mind. Yep, I found my way. Never mind. Gotta break that. Okay. Go up from here. Wyatt will be on soon, so when he gets on, I'll probably make a video with him if you... When I get a video of both of us playing Minecraft. Um, so, as you can see, it's still nighttime, but it is turning day. As you can see, the moon's all setting right now. So, that helps a lot. If you want to get a chicken from an egg, just toss it wherever you want the chicken to be. But, just remember, if you do want a chicken, you won't get one every time. So, basically... Okay. Um, the gist of this game really is just to have fun and explore and see what you could do in a real life uh, in like a fake kind of life thing if you know what I mean um, so if you want to rate, comment, subscribe do anything but if you don't and you just feel like watching the videos that's perfectly fine with me but if you do my name is only legend I will zoom in on it that is my gamer tag so if you want to you know play with me just um, send me a message I'm writing my name down so yeah if you want to play with me in Wybird, um, basically, you got to be a Minecraft player that likes to play Minecraft, and you need to be at least somewhat good at this game. So, yeah, if you want to, like, send me videos or play with me real quickly to, so I can see how good you are, that's fine. This is my gamer tag once again. Here it is. Only that's a. Uh, I'll make this clear right here. I'll cross that out. Make it better. Okay. So. Then that's a space. Okay, right there. Only space. L space. These things right here. These little dash marks that I make, that, that means space, so it's only L3GLND space L. So, again, if you want to try to play with me, just type in that uh, gamer tag, and yeah, send me a message. Bye!